So the optimal patient for uterine artery em embolization may be someone within, you know, about 10 years of reaching menopause because the procedure treats the fibroids, but after a decade or so, they may recur. So if you're about to hit menopause anyway, then it basically bridges you to menopause and avoids the need for a major surgery like a hysterectomy. So in my view, the, the ideal candidate would be someone who um, doesn't really desire to have future pregnancies, uh, doesn't desire a big surgery. Those are our ideal patients. Periods may be very heavy. There may be bleeding in between the, the periods. The, the bleeding can be so bad that the patient may need transfusions and iron to restore their blood. Um, so that's one of the major symptoms. Also, there's uh, symptoms due to bulk. So women can get cramping and pain. They can even have issues with continence and being able to pee, uh, all because of just the size of the uterus. You can actually, it could be so large that it almost causes like a mass effect and be, uh, you could actually see it. So, um, but bleeding and pain are, are usually the most common symptoms. We uh, access the uterus basically through the arteries, um, most commonly in the leg artery, sometimes in the wrist, and we can navigate to the two arteries that feed the uterus, and we inject these microscopic particles which fill the capillaries and vessels that supply the uterus and shut them down. And by doing that, it causes all the fibroids to shrink. It takes weeks to months for them to kind of shrink down as far as they will, uh, and the vast majority of women experience a decrease in their symptoms. So the bleeding will stop, the pain will lessen. Most women are very uh, satisfied with the uterine artery embolization.